Ruggiero Leon Cavallo, Ruggiero, or Ruggiero, Leon Cavallo, 23rd of April 18,579 August 1919, was an Italian opera composer and librettist. Although he produced numerous operas and other songs throughout his career it is his opera Pagliacci, 1892, that remained his lasting contribution, despite attempts to escape the shadow of his greatest success. Today he remains largely known for Pagliacci, one of the most popular works in the repertory, appearing as number 20 on the opera bass list of the most performed operas worldwide in the 2013-14 season. His other well-known works include the song Madinata, popularized by Enrico Caruso, as well as the symphonic poem La Nuit de Mai. The son of Vincenzo Leon Cavallo, a police magistrate and judge, Leon Cavallo was born in Naples on April 23, 1857. As a child, he moved with his father to the town of Montalto a Fugo in Calabria, where Leon Cavallo lived during his adolescence. He later returned to Naples and was educated at the city's San Pietro Maiella Conservatory and later the University of Bologna studying literature under famed Italian poet Giuseppe Carducci. In 1879 Leon Cavallo's uncle Giuseppe, director of the press department at the Foreign Ministry in Egypt, suggested that his young nephew come to Cairo to showcase his pianistic abilities. Arriving shortly after the deposition of Cadiz Smile, Leon Cavallo eventually secured work as a piano teacher and pianisto the brother of the new Khadiva Tufik Pasha. His time in Egypt concluded abruptly in 1882 after revolts in Alexandria and Cairo led by Arabi in which the composer quickly departed for France. In Paris, Leon Cavallo found lodging in Montmartre. An agent located in the Rue du Faubourg Saint-Denis secured Leon Cavallo employment as an accompanist and instructor for artists who performed in Sunday concerts mostly at cafés. It was during this time that he met Bertha Rimbaud, 1863-1926, a preferred student, who became his wife in 1895. Increasingly inspired by the French romantics, particularly Alfred de Musset, Leon Cavallo began work on a symphonic poem based on Musset's poetry entitled La Nuit de Mai. The work was completed in Paris in 1886 and premiered in April 1887 to critical acclaim. With this success and now with enough accumulated money Leon Cavallo and Rimbaud would return to Milan to begin his career as a composer of opera. Back in Italy, Leon Cavallo spent some years teaching and attempting ineffectively to obtain the production of more than one opera, notably Chatterton. In 1890 he saw the enormous success of Pietro Mascagni's Cavalleria Rusticana and wasted no time in producing his own very small work, Pagliacci. According to Leon Cavallo, the plot of this work had a real-life origin. He claimed it derived from a murder trial, in Montalto a Fugo, over which his father had presided. Pagliacci was performed in Milan in 1892 with immediate success, today it is the only work by Leon Cavallo in the standard operatic repertory. Its most famous aria Vesti Lagi Uba, put on the costume or, in the better known older translation, On with the Motley, was recorded by Enrico Caruso and late claimed to being the world's first record to sell a million copies although this is probably a total of Caruso's various versions of it made in 1902, 1904 and 1907. The next year his I Medici was also produced in Milan, but neither it nor Chatterton, belatedly produced in 1896 both early works, obtained much lasting favor. Much of Chatterton, however, was recorded by the Gramophone Company, later HMV, as early as 1908, and remastered on CD almost 100 years later by Marston Records. Leon Cavallo himself conducts the performance or at very least supervises the production. It was not until Leon Cavallo's La Boheme was performed in 1897 in Venice that his talent obtained public confirmation. However, it was outshone by Puccini's opera of the same name and on the same subject, which was premiered in 1896. Two tenor arias from Leon Cavallo's version are still occasionally performed, especially in Italy. Subsequent operas by Leon Cavallo were in the 1900s, Zaza, the opera of Geraldine Farrar's famous 1922 farewell performance at the Metropolitan Opera, and 1904 Esther Roland von Berlin. In 1906 the composer brought singers and orchestral musicians from La Scala to perform concerts of his music in New York, as well as an extensive tour of the United States. The tour was, all in all, a qualified success. He had a brief success with Singari which premiered in Italian in London in 1912, with a long run at the Hippodrome Theatre. Zingari also reached the United States but soon disappeared from the repertoire.
After a series of operettas, Leon Cavallo appeared to have tried for one last serious effort with. It had always been assumed that Leon Cavallo had finished work but had died before he could finish the orchestration, which was completed by. However, with the publication of Conrad Dryden's biography of Leon Cavallo it was revealed that Leon Cavallo may not have written the work at all, although it certainly contains themes by Leon Cavallo. A review of Dryden's study notes, that fine Edipo re, was not even composed by, Leon Cavallo. His widow paid another composer to concoct a new opera sing the music of Der Roland von Berlin. Dryden didn't find one reference to the opera in Leon Cavallo's correspondence nor is there a single note by him to be found in the handwritten score. What is certain is that in Edipo Re, a short one-act work, the composer, whoever it actually was, uses exactly the same melody for the final scene Mie Pavere Fier, Per Voi Non Pu Sol. With the blinded Edipo, as in the Act 4 soprano aria from Der Roland von Berlin. It has been assumed, see the New Grove Dictionary of Opera, that Leon Cavallo left the opera more or less complete, except for the orchestration. Pinocchio may either have concocted the opera or may have had to do more to Leon Cavallo's more or less complete work to fill in the gaps using Leon Cavallo's earlier music. Another clue to demonstrate that Leon Cavallo had no or little part in Adipo Re is that unusually, in fact exceptionally, Leon Cavallo did not write the libretto. The libretto for Edipo Re was written by Giovacchino Forzano, who also wrote Il Piccolo Mara for Pietro Mascagni and two of the one-act operas for Puccini's Il Tritico. Further, the orchestration of Edipo Re, consisting all too often of mass strings and a depressingly constant use of the cymbal, does not seem the work of Leon Cavallo whose own orchestration, while sometimes uninspired, is at very least competent. From the 1970s A Depot Re has had a number of revivals, both as concert performances, including Rome 1972, Concert Hibel, Amsterdam, 1977 and Concert House, Vienna 1998, as well as fully staged productions at the Teatro Regio, Turin, in 2002 and the Thessaloniki Opera 2008. It remains to be seen who will be given the credit for this opera in future revivals. Leon Cavallo died in Monte Catini Terme, Tuscany, on August 9, 1919. His funeral was held two days later, with hundreds in attendance, including fellow composer Pietro Mascagni and longtime rival Giacomo Puccini. He was buried in the Cimitero del Portzante in Florence. Seventy years after his death the campaign was launched to move the composer's remains to Bersago, Switzerland. After talk of a letter written by Leon Cavallo claimed to show that the composer had desired to be buried there originally, although no such letter was ever found. Having become an honorary citizen of Bersago he owned a lavish summer residence, Villa Miriam, in the town. In 1904 Leon Cavallo had mentioned in a speech that he would not mind having a resting place in the town's Madonna di Port Cemetery, but it was never a written request in his will. Regardless the campaign to move Leon Cavallo's remains moved ahead and was granted official approval by Piera Leon Cavallo Grand, the last remaining descendant of the composer. The body was exhumed for transfer to Switzerland along with the remains of his wife Bertha, who died in 1926. The Museo Leon Cavallo, Leon Cavallo Museum, was established in 2002 in Brissago to commemorate the composer with personal items and original manuscripts and display including statues representing characters from his other operas including Zaza and Der Roland von Berlin. Little or nothing from Leon Cavallo's other operas is heard today, but the baritone arias from Zaza were great concert and recording favorites among baritones and Zaza as a whole is sometimes revived, as is his La Boheme. The tenor arias from La Boheme remain recording favorites. Leon Cavallo also composed songs, most famously Madinata, which he wrote for the gramophone company, which became HMV, with Caruso's unique voice in mind. On April 8, 1904, Leon Cavallo accompanied Caruso at the piano as they recorded the song. On December 8, 1905 he recorded five of his own pieces for three producing piano Weltman Jan. Leon Cavallo was the librettist for most of his own operas. Many considered him the greatest Italian librettist of his time after Boito. Among Leon Cavallo's libretti for other composers is his contribution to the libretto for Puccini's Manon Lesco. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.